we're going to pick up right where we left off in the last video. Now in the last video we set up our grid and you can see we added all of our columns. We added six columns. Now what we've been doing so far is using bootstrapped classes. We used the container class and then inside that we put the row class and we use the column class to create our columns. But you also will have to use your own style sheet. That's why we created this stylesheet.css as well because you're going to need to customize your own columns. So that's what we're going to do in this video. We're going to actually add our own customized classes so that we can format these columns the way we want to. So we've got the basic framework in place. So what we're going to do is create an individual class for each one of these columns. Now you can use IDs if you want. If you don't plan on reusing these at all, you can go ahead and just create an ID we're going to create a class but again you can do what you want so what we're going to do is go ahead and hit enter here and we're going to go ahead and add a new div and this will hold our new class and we're going to call this col1 for column one that will be our first class for this first column good and that's all we really need of course we need to close out the div again because we added another div so let's go down here and we'll just go ahead and copy and paste that right here. And let's go ahead and just move this back a little bit so it's nice and neat. Okay, so there we go. So now we've got our first column class. And this is, again, is going to be a class that we're going to specify in our own style sheet, not bootstraps. And that's the way you use bootstrap. You'll use some bootstrap classes, and then you'll create some of your own classes to add some of your code. So almost all bootstraps are hybrid websites. They have their own customized CSS code, and then they will use bootstraps code. Okay, so now that we've got our first column set, let's go ahead and we're going to copy and paste this into the rest of our column so we don't have to retype everything. Remember, copy and paste is our best friend. We don't want to have to type everything out, do we? No. So let's go ahead and we'll just highlight this portion, hit copy and paste, and there we go. We've got that all set. We just need to make a unique class here, so we're going to update this and make this two. There we go. And let's just follow that same procedure for the rest of these columns. Oops, and I need to update the text as well. Okay, we're done. So let's make sure this all looks good. Six and six, five and five, four and four, three and three, two and two, and one and one. Okay, so we're good to go. So now we've got six different classes for each one of our columns. And again, this will allow us to go ahead and customize each one of these columns in whatever manner we want to. So now what we need to do is flip over to our style sheet. And let's go ahead and add some CSS for these columns. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll add some CSS for column one. And let's go ahead and give a margin of three pixels. And what this will do is, of course, add a little space around each one of our columns. It'll give us a nice gutter. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And again, we'll make that three pixels. But again, you can make it whatever you want. And then let's go ahead and give it a minimum height of 300 pixels. So we want it to be 300 pixels in height. So that will expand out our columns quite a bit. Then what we're going to do is go ahead and align the text in the center. And then let's go ahead and give a color, background color, to this column. And we're going to go ahead and give this a color of silver. Let's start with that. And there we go. Now, let's go ahead and copy and paste this. You know what? We need a dot in front of this. This, of course, is a class. You can see how I always make mistakes, and so that's why you should never feel too bad about making mistakes. I make them all the time. The trick is finding the mistakes when you make them. Okay, so let's go ahead and just copy and paste this, and we'll go down here. We're going to keep this the same, but let's add a different color to column two. You don't have to use these colors, obviously. You can use whatever color you want, but I'm just going to go ahead and make this green. And we need to make this column two. And let's go ahead and create some CSS for column three. And we'll make this blue. So this stands out a little differently. And we just have three more columns to go here. So let's go ahead and create some code for column four. And let's make this red. And we'll go ahead and create the code for five. And let's make this dark green. And last but not least, column six. Well, let's go ahead and we'll make this one orange. How about that? That column will be orange. 
Okay, there we go. I think we've got this all set and it looks correct. So let's go ahead and hit save. Let's go back to our index.html and hit save there. Let's load up our page and we'll see what this looks like. Hopefully it works. And it did, take a look at that. That looks really good. See, we've got this nice margin now between our columns and we've customized them. The text is centered. We have all of these different background colors. And now we can really see how Bootstrap works very nicely. So I'm gonna go ahead and minimize this and it should, yep, see, look there. Look how nice Bootstrap handles that. It now created a tablet view or a more mobile centric view for our elements. You can see how nicely it handles that. And it, look, it keeps the appropriate size. Take a look at that. Everything is nice in size. Look how it automatically adjusts the width of the columns perfectly. I mean, it's just perfect. Take a look at that. And if we expand it back out, then we get our nice desktop view as well. All right, so this is a good start. I will see you guys in the next video.